excuse my messy look today but i have been working on orders all day long and i'm completely blessed for that um but a lot of you guys wanted to see exactly how i made and what it took to make the pendulum charging station that has been such a huge hit on my page lately so let's hop into it and see exactly what i used to make it So first things first, you always want to cleanse your area with your favorite incense. The one that I'm using today is Dragon's Blood because it is a very light scent in the home. It's not overpowering like a lot of the other ones. Also it brings in the fall solstice, so that's great to use around this time of year. Have my protection candle going of course, very close by all the rest of the items that you're going to need to make this project. So you're going to need some type of like candy dish, jewelry dish, a plate even. Even. Um, you can make your own little like clay animal and just stick it on a dish if you wanted to and made that permanent and then I just sprayed the whole thing of course I always give coarse sea salt with um, these orders because of course you're gonna put some of that in the bottom there similar you can see mine that I have I keep my rose quartz in there I always put an anointment in there so that you can become one with any of the items that I give you pendulum of your choice of course there's a couple different gadgets that you're gonna need to attach your pendulum in there these are just eye screws jewelry lobster claws you're gonna need some smaller corkscrews glass glue pliers scissors and of course some type of glass or vase of your choice don't mind my snack jar in the back there okay you're gonna need a corkscrew and an eye screw to hang your pendulum from so I'm just screwing that into there I had two of them on order, so I'm making two for this video. Next, you're going to need a lobster claw and a circle ring, and you're just going to connect the pendulum to there. Next, you're going to use glass glue, and you're going to put that on the cork, and then just hold it for a couple seconds on whatever your vase would be. Done. So here we are, finished product. This one has amethyst chips inside the, the pendulum there. And then this one is a tiger's eye one, completely customized. They wanted the tiger's eye and the amethyst. So these came out gorgeous. If you guys are interested, they are $35 on my shop page, but these are how they make them if any of you crafty witches wanted to make them yourself at home. <laughs> 